yep, I need a haircut too. Since I'm not willing to go get one on the black market. Yep. See, I'm one of those guys that if I haven't had a haircut in a while, I suffer from what's commonly known as Transam hair. See, you can kind of see the feathering and the beginning of a party in the back. The Midwest refers to it as Camaro hair, and Florida often calls it the Thunderbird cut. It's a fun look, but I also look like that guy who's constantly behind on his child support payments. So let's fix it. Haircut pandemic style. First up, a pair of scissors that are not meant for cutting hair that will be cutting hair. First aid kit, feeling I'm gonna be jumping into that one. Got a razor. Uh, got a dirty buck knife, never know. Uh, got some clippers, that should come in handy. Uh, and then you uh, got a tape measure to make sure everything's the same length or, I don't that doesn't sound right actually. Uh, and then you got, I found these, seemed like they could cut something I think. It's for, oh, whoa, I didn't even notice this. Look at this. What does it say on it? It says Corona on it. <laughs> nice, dude. That's awesome. I mean, it does look like there's a 2% chance that thing could kill me, so. And then a travel brush, a comb brush combo. <laughs> Glad I still have that guy. Ah, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Okay. I mean, that, that was really easy. That was super easy. I highly recommend just doing it yourself. Um, not hard at all. I, everyone's like, don't cut your hair. It's, uh, you're by yourself, it's stupid. And, well, those people are idiots, and I'm good at this shit. I think I'm gonna, char I'm gonna start charging to be a stylist, but I'm gonna work from home. So um, I'll just, uh, you just tell me what you want, and then I will tell you what to do. Good stuff pandemic haircut. <laughs>